Scotty 3 spoke to Sandy from Scottish Youth Climate Strike. Hi Sandy, um, as one of the leaders of the demonstration today, what do you th- hope to get out of today and what do you think the future holds for those people protesting against climate chaos? Um, what we hope to get out of today is some real action from our government instead of just words. We want to see from now on them taking active steps to provide for a just transition to renewables. We want to see active, con- like we want to see radical action to stop climate change that can stop in the next 10 years. We, it needs to happen right now. Um, so that's what we hope to see uh, kind of out of this demonstration. And I really hope to see in the future um, a much greener, much fairer, better world for everybody that's just, that's fair, and it's greener and healthier for all future generations. You've got an organisation across quite a long number of the schools in Scotland. Do you think that's been essential to building the kind of protest we might see today? Absolutely. Um, we have our massive school network. That's how we mobilise young people. We have people putting posts up in schools. It's engaging with young people, engaging them with this issue which is going to affect them. So having a network of schools is essential to uh, running these events. It's young people, the, the young people are the heart of this movement and as much as we're inviting everybody, we want everyone to get involved, they will continue to be the heart of this movement and we need young people across the country to continue to be involved and continue to be engaged. I've been involved with the, with the council about Just Transition involved in the meetings discussing how that's proposal. I believe that you and others maybe have met them yesterday. How did you feel that went with the, the main councillors? Councillor I think uh, I think councillors I mean I think it was quite a positive meeting. I think it's actually in Edinburgh the council seems to be quite proactive. I, I sat down with the council leaders yesterday and it seemed they were seeming quite positive. Whether or not that transmits the actual action we've yet to see but they are seeming quite ambitious about getting a twenty thirty carbon neutral like uh, I do think it is hope we are starting to see change thanks to this movement, thanks to this pushing uh, government, and I think we are starting to see a bit of a shift. Um, whether or not anything will come out of it, we've yet to see, but um, we have had a lot of quite positive meetings with politicians, but we're yet to see if it's just words or if it's actually action. So do you see climate change happening top down or bottom up? How do, how do you feel? Is that a mix of both. I think the scale we're at right now, you need a bit of pushing from the top, but you need very much, you need awareness, you need pushing from the bottom to push the top. 